So welcome back, Evolution RTS fans. Just gonna start game. We have Godet versus Rar. Godet in the north side of the map. He is going immediately for Amphibious Tank Factory, while Rar is in the southeast side of the map. Inconveniently colored the exact same color as the map itself. Going for All Terrain. <laughs> yeah, actually, I have uh, added uh, nicer colors into it. Uh, more contrasty and stuff like that. But, unfortunately, um, I have been afraid to release a new version. I've been terrified. Because so many people have had problems. I don't want to give them... I mean, even though, you know, updates you know, are like mm -hmm. 200 kilobytes or stuff like that. Because once you have the game content, it just downloads all the new stuff. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I've been terrified to do anything. So, uh... I figured I'd update it tonight, um, hopefully when not so many people are on, but uh, we'll see. Because yeah, apparently, probably... sorry, folks in the game, because it's actually interesting. I've got it going in with raiding and out with these metal extractors. He is going for amphibious bots, which are much better at close range, while Rar going for us. All terrain is going to be interesting. He needs to he's gonna be okay right now due to the fact that Gode is focusing more on economy and just light raiding, but. Rar, not sure how well he knows how to use the the cloaking abilities of the all-terrain factory. I'd like to point out, I have never seen anyone micro a snake that effectively. Good God. Speaking of. It's pronounced Godet. Or Godet? <laughs> so you have to have the upwards inflection. Gotcha. I was talking to him the other day. It's Godet is, or Godet is roughly how it's pronounced. I mean, I'm not Swedish, so I'm not going to be perfect on that one, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, see, he's going to try going in here with all these snakes, and he's going to do a great yep, job, because... That is... Okay. That's the thing where the cloaking comes in, is that these bashers are... Actually, they're getting too close as it is. That's the, the problem. But also, a little surprised he's using bashers on this. I'm not sure about you, but I think the bashers may not be the best idea for dealing with all these snakes. Should no. probably be getting himself... Mo well, Mossberg, obviously, just to keep him in place. Yeah, basically, Mo Mossbergs will stop that junk that's going on right in its tracks. Um, yeah, they'll stun everything out. Yeah, and plus, he's also got his uh, Overseer here, which he could EMP with. But yeah, that's Bashers are for taking point. out big tanks. Uh, oh, and okay, Godet does have Raiders. Double checking the vision on both sides. So Godet has half the map visible, most of the line of sight, though. And Rar, on the other hand, does not, but he is turning. I think he was giving some of this stuff away with the seismic. Because the fact that Alterrain Factory, just to point out for the community of people here, that the Alterrain Factory does. Oh, you can't necessarily see it. But Alterrain units do have little red pulses that your opponents can see based yeah. on when they hit the ground. Yeah, actually, it's. The things that display that, or I'm sorry, the uh, thing that makes that show up is radar towers have a certain radius which will show it off and also uh, just plain raiders like recluse, uh, kite, snakes they all have the ability to within a short range show the seismic pings but it's important to note that if you cloak all terrain units they cannot be automatically targeted you can force fire at the ground where you know they are because you can see this, the dust puffs of mm -hmm. when they're walking and you can see the seismic pings but you cannot target them automatically so that actually makes them pretty powerful, especially if you use things like return fire or hold fire for a moment. Yeah, which is a bit of a pain too, because Godet is going for... Well, it looks like he's going to try to go for the kill here. Rar does not have very much of the map here, and Godet has everything. Which is probably a little bit surprising, but... Well, not kind of that surprising, honestly. <laughs> all things considered, but... Yeah. Yeah, Rar's, uh, Rar's about to have a bad day. <laughs> I'm really not sure about the... I mean, the altering factory choice, I don't know if it was the best... This map... I can kind of see because it is a bit of a flatter, or sorry, it is a bit of a hillier map. It's also got flat bits in between. You know, the and irritating thing is, you say that, and I would agree with you, right up until the point to where God, God A, uses um, all terrains on it and just frustrates the living hell out of you for it. Uh, well, because... yeah, but the thing with all terrain is that you need to be able to get. Like, the problem here is that Godet just raided out Rar. Rar did not get rid of the raiders in time, and thus ceded map control. That was the big problem. Yes. That was it. 
That killed him there. Mm-hmm. No bueno. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh... I'm a little curious as to what God's going to do with him. He could go to... He could, uh, of course, just go in for the kill, or he could go for the stylish troll nuke. That's always a fun one. I think he's probably going to wait that long. <laughs> I hope not anyway, because this game is a foregone conclusion. Yeah, pretty much. No, it looks much. like he's just going to go for the kill with raiders and razors. I mean, with snakes and razors. It's interesting to note that the snakes actually have been nerfed, and they are slated to get yet another nerf. There's been some more complaints about it. Essentially, in the future, uh, crushers will one-shot them, the white turrets will one-shot them, um, and actually, turrets should one-shot them right now. They might might be two shots, not sure. Anyway, mm. uh, so yeah, that will definitely decrease them quite a bit, but honestly, if you have someone like God, Gode, using lots of snakes and stuff like that, the riot tanks will just stop that in its tracks. And well, admittedly, at this point... Cardinal's popping up for Godet, and Godet at this point is 20 metal, 49 energy, he's... Okay, the energy's different, the energy... Any of RTS should point out, energy is entirely used for firing weapons, and there's also a separate power stat, which power generators also create, that give you the ability to build certain units, and then of course is the supply stat, which works very much like supply in StarCraft. And... Except the units have a tendency to cost way more than one supply each, usually two at minimum. So it's really more like food in Warcraft 3. And down goes Rar's Factor, and I think Rar's just going to throw in the towel at this point. <laughs> I can't imagine he's going to stay any longer than this. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> when that happens, especially if... Uh, especially if you're in a pitched battle and that happens and you were not expecting it at all. All yep. of a sudden, bombers. Cardinals everywhere. Did you want to go into the detail about how you made these models? Uh, well, I didn't make all of them, so that's... But I mean, the noted. general oh. style behind them, the general way they're built. Well, basically, um, Kaiser developed a uh, set of prefabricated parts. He called them Legos. Um, and essentially what that is, is it's just a giant uh, bunch of parts in a modeling program. And you can essentially put them together and make units, and that's what... what uh, I've done here. A lot of these models are mine. Uh, like, for example, all of the amphibious tank models are ones that I did. Um, some of the towers, uh, the airplanes. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's kind of been between me and Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser okay. kind of dropped off the map a while back, but yeah. Anyway, long story short, uh, the neat thing is, is that it allows you to create models much more quickly. And even cooler, on the optimization side of things, you have a whole bunch of models using one texture. And as a result, end users get a lot better performance over it. And basically, the more models I add, the more efficient it gets. It's kind of backwards that way, which is kind of awesome. 